Many years before Mother passed away, she and I prepared her detailed funeral plan and service order. Such a brave and strong person she was because as we went through all of this, she never flinched or battered an eyelid and took the serious matter just in her usual stride. Even to the point of participating in her own eulogy, which is in part two of this video series. So on Thursday the 26th of February, Mother made up her mind to call it a day. And so the next day, on Friday, in the presence of myself, Lillian, my brother Arthur, my sister Kimberly, and the expert medical team at North Shore Hospital, Mother confirmed her decision to die in her usual courageous way. Right up until Sunday the 1st of March, Mother was still chatting and joking with us just three days before her death. What an incredible person. Is that right? Looks disgusting. Does it taste okay? What's in here? Oh, it sounds, oh soup, that smells good. Soup, yeah, that looks nice. Try the soup. <laughs> what jug? Stanley steel jug. We lent it to you. Oh. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, no. I <laughs> Can I have this in writing? I'm sorry. What goes to who? No. Um, when Auntie Lily died, um, I think they sort of grabbed this and grabbed that. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? Yeah, that's what I heard. That's Some heard. families are like that. Well, no one's grabbing anything. No. I've grabbed it all anyway. <laughs> nah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. This... Maybe she had some really nice yeah, stuff. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe she had really nice stuff and everyone looks at your stuff and so, oh, I don't Yeah, want don't want that. that. It's all junk. <laughs> like your mother. Like your mother. <laughs> that's not really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to leave everything as it is until uh, Arthur, Kevin, and I are ready to, uh, you know, to process everything. Because there'll be a lot of things to process, you know, like, uh, you know, there's a the death certificate side, there's the newspaper announcements and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it'll be done. So, yeah, already set a lot of stuff up in motion, you know. So, um, yeah. So, I've. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to say this on camera, right? You say, you know what the big problem is? Uh, you know, the big thing I'm going to miss is that we have an argument with these guys. There'll be nobody to agree with me. Well, you should have to feed for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Time to grow up. <laughs> it's tragic, really. I'm all on my own now. No one ever agrees with me. Brad. Yeah, sport brat. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Simon rings up, and because we're we're always saying to each other, "Who's going to be next?" See, because he's saying he's going to be next. I'm going to be next. You know, I'm going to be next because of the cancer. And I pick up the phone and I say to him, "I know who's going to be next." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't we just. Eh? Yeah, you can't. That's right. No, you can't say. I could drive out, out walk out there, yeah. get run over by a stagecoach bus, and it's probably Arthur that's driving it. <laughs> but wait, there's more. During all of this, she was more concerned about my health than her own. Just months before, I myself was moments from death arising from issues of prostate cancer. Now that really shows what sort of person she is. Therefore, on Sunday the 1st of March 2015, I released a video updating all our friends and relatives and announcing Mother's impending funeral. So thank you all for your support at this time. And this six-part video has been made in remembrance of my mother, Anne Chong. Hi everyone. I hope you're all well. I have some sad news. As you know, my mother Anne Chong has been on kidney dialysis now for the last six years. Now dialysis is a process which removes waste and excess water from your bloodstream 
when your kidneys have failed. You're connected to a machine up to four to five hours at a time for three times a week. It's an awful process and mother has had to travel from Whangapurra at first to Waitakere Hospital and later to North Shore Hospital three times a week and be on the machine for four to five hours a day. Sadly, there comes a time when the treatment quality drops off and all medical options to maintain it are exhausted. That time came on Friday morning, the 27th of February. At a meeting between myself, Anne, Kim, Arthur and Lillian and the medical team, Anne decided to no longer receive treatment from the dialysis process. Now the consequence of that is that as the toxins in her body build up, they will eventually take her life. I'd like to assure everyone that mother is in no pain, thanks to the wonderful doctors and modern medical technology. The big question of course is, how long more will mother live? Well the experts reckon 7 to 10 days. So for that reason, we are planning a funeral on Saturday the 21st of March 2015. Although due to circumstances, this might be the Saturday before, it may be the Saturday after. But whatever the event, you can keep a track on the latest updates by visiting our family website wongchong.net and I'll put the updates on there. If you would like to see my mother, you're welcome to call any time. The address is 35 Melandra Road, Stanmore Bay, Whangapra. And she loves visitors, so please come and visit her if you can. If you'd like to speak to her on the telephone, do that as well. Phone number is 09 428 1117. She loves talking, being a woman I think. You may wish to do this sooner rather than later as well. So that's all I have for now and as I said I will put up all the latest information on the family website wongchong.net.